Hello everyone, my camera wasn't even on, my bad. How are we all doing today? Hope we are good. Uh, happy Tuesday, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, this is, uh, there doesn't seem to be many people in here yet, so I'm just going to wait a minute. Hopefully more people join, I hope. Otherwise it's going to be a very, very quiet stream. But we'll wait to see if more people join. And then we will get into creating some assets. So let's just do a nice chill talking time for a few moments. We'll talk about what I have been doing during these streams as well as what I plan on doing as well. So what I am doing on these streams is I am creating a bunch of assets for my game. Originally it was just called the Tavern Game and it's now morphed into a game called Pandonia. The region is called Pandonia. Name of it isn't 100% sorted but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But it is a very fantasy type inspired game. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of those sort of assets and I am a little burnt out from creating them as well as also doing a game with a great friend of mine, Clankersh. Uh, still very similar themed, it's very fantasy themed. So I am a little burnt out from just constantly making that style of type of asset. So at the moment, I'm just taking a quick breather from that. I'm hoping like this week and then after NFT NYC, I'll feel a lot more refreshed and get back to that. But instead, for today, I'm actually going to be making some assets for the potential of a social hub type situation for my wedding. Coda Gaming Live, how are you doing, Coda? So that's that's what we're doing. And I don't know how gas has been because I forgot to check. Uh, it's at 56, it's a little bit higher than I usually like to send assets out. So I'm unsure whether I'm going to do a quiz thing again today. All blue today, yes I am. Do you like it? Do you like all the blue? I'm probably gonna have to top it up right before I leave as well. Uh, just because the blue actually comes out pretty quickly and then goes like a lighter faded blue. Nothing wrong with that. It's just I do like it when it is super, super blue. Yeah, no more Ukrainian flag. It was very yellow. I mean, like, it's nice that some people thought like that. Oh, yeah, but no, it was very yellow. <laughs> the blue's your favorite color, though, so you're biased. That's fine. Uh, so, yes, there will be stuff happening. So there will be a booth for um, Sandbox at NFT NYC, which I will be there for that. I will be going to NFT NYC. So, woo! Crowd cheers! Woo! Panda's gonna be partying! Panda's gonna be partying! Panda's gonna be partying! Yeah! Party with the panda! Party with the panda! But yeah, also, there is an event. I believe, I don't know how much has been said, but there is a special event that Sandbox are running. I need to check what has been announced and what hasn't. So I'm quickly running over to their Twitter to just be like, what's been said? Does anybody know? Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, this has been said. Let's share this. Let's just do a little news round. It's news time. Do, do, do. Also, can you guys see me or is that just paused on my end? Like the screens are switched, right? Yep, yeah, no, everything's fine. Cool. So there will be rap song panda 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 panda. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Cause I can't I can't really rap. I might be able to do like a low-key little bit of Eminem stuff, but in terms of like actual rapping and you know, you you definitely don't want me to sing because I'm a bad sing like I'm not I'm not good. I am not good. I like to sing, but I'm not good. So uh, growing up, I got very put off singing because I was told you're not good. And so yeah, it made me think I better stop it. Uh, but yeah, panda, 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 to the P, to the A, to the N, to the D, to the A, that's panda, what, what? Okay, no, don't send me stuff. Anyway, just, you need to close, close, no more messages. Right, two plus two is four, minus one is three, quick maths. There we go, Ice Pilot. Hair looks great, I know! Also, in 
in all fairness though, it doesn't look as good as it does what you guys are seeing as it does in real life because of all like obviously doing the green screen and stuff. It actually makes it look much, much more electric blue. It's not as electric blue as this. It's pretty damn good, but it's not as fantastic as it looks on screen. So I'm capping you guys a little bit with my hair. It doesn't look this great, but it looks pretty good. Anyway. So, landowners, builders, brands, creators must attend events featuring music, artists and performances, cultural conversation, exclusive experience. Are you ready? New York. So, on the 20th and 21st, um, and there's exclusive access for landowners. So, if you're a landowner and you're going to be in what? Say what? NFT, NYC. Oh, my God. This is as hype as you're probably going to get me. I'm so sorry. Can't wait to see it in person. Yeah, I'm gonna give it another top up. The problem is it looks fine for like the first two washes. After it's been washed twice, it's not for it looks bad. It just fades like super significantly. And then like, it's okay. Uh, and it will always look great on the green screen and streaming and stuff because of all the color stuff. Uh, you do yours pink, you do pink, you do pink. Do it pink, do it, 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 do it. Anyway, uh, yeah, exclusive access for landowners. So there will be some stuff. And I believe, should we just go full in? Should we do full news round? Are you ready? Press enter, takes three minutes. Okay. Oh wait, do we seriously have to fill this out? Oh, is that for you to, but I don't. Oh, just tell me what this is. I right, you guys are gonna have to fill this out because I feel weird filling it out because I'm going to attend because I'm part of Sandbox. So I feel like I don't. I feel like I don't need to fill that out. But yeah. Yeah, so you guys fill that out and tell me what that all does. But yes, there will be exclusive event. Uh, uh, there'll be exclusive stuff for landowners. Can you do a review on your CyberCons entry so I can prove more in the future? Yes, send me it. Send me it. In fact, I would quite like to do this before we hop into anything else. Uh, so anybody that doesn't know, I'm going to get the whole CyberCons thing up while Amaratsu uh, send me a thing on Twitter of your asset or tag me in it, do something that gets me to notice you. Just be like, notice me, senpai. Uh, why I get the CyberCon stuff up. And if I don't make it, yeah, I'll sneak you in and under under my cloak. I don't know why I've got a cloak. I don't own a cloak, but sure, I'll sneak you in under my cloak. Uh, anyway, for people that don't know, guys, you don't have long left. This competition closes June 19th, uh, right before midnight. So you pretty much have right, right until the 20th, basically. But get your entries in beforehand. So... The Sandbox is partnering with CyberCon for a brand new Vox Edit contest. Time to show who is the real king of the meta jungle. The rules are simple. Create an asset inspired. Inspired by the CyberCon's universe. But don't make your own version of the Kongs. We've had about six entries of people's versions of the Kongs. They have them. They're their VXs. They are super, super high quality. They, they are kind of over... The general limit, but we've we've allowed it for them of uh, faces for their for their Kongs, but it's it's fine. Actually, I think it's I think it's under the fight. I can't remember. Either way, they've got they've got their own, so we're not looking for somebody to make a Kong. Bear that in mind. Hey, Vivox, how you doing? You love the hair. Everybody loves the hair. I look amazing. I look fantastic. Uh, but yeah, Amaratsu, let like send it to me, please. And tell me where you've sent it so I can see where you've sent it. Because I see you neither on Twitter sending me stuff nor Discord. Hey, soldier over on DLive. DLive representing. Say what? 
Anyway, the rewards are juicy. They are juicy rewards. So first place, you get 6,000 sand plus a VX Cyber Kong. These VXs now, you can send them on adventures within the Cyber Kong's game, the play and collect uh, with a capital K. Uh, what you, how's it going? I am doing great. Thank you ever so much. Uh, I have been super, super busy with a bunch of sandboxy stuff and just trying to, you know, live live my best life i guess and not not cry over what's happening with like not even just the crypto market the general market just the general market pretty sure we're in a recession like i'm i'm pretty sure we're there um because you're not yeah oh, i mean okay crypto it's not done too bad if today hasn't done too bad i mean it's not done great but it's not, you know, we've not gone down a slide again. Uh, so that's not too bad. But anyway, one VX CyberCong. So you can actually use that VX to earn you banana. Banana's the, the currency for the CyberCongs. Plus 3,000 banana as well. Okay, that's pretty damn good. <coughs> you tagged, oh, you've tagged me in Discord? Oh, I'm not going to see that. I wish you just DM'd me. I keep my DMs open. Fine, you tagged me. I'll have to search for you. Let's search, let's search, let's have a little search, let's search. Uh, contests? Nope. Creations? Nope. Where have you tagged me? Honestly, where have you tagged me in Discord? I've not had a single... Hmm. I'm going to have to... The problem is I'm going to have to find it on my phone. It's still not coming up. Do you... Amaratsu, uh, do you have Twitter to tag me on Twitter? Those are the rules, she bra. <laughs> tag you on Discord or everyone on follows. Yeah, ta tag me on Discord. What? I'm so confused. I cannot find you at all. Did, have you entered it? In all fairness, have you entered it for the contest already? Because then I can find you. Because I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not, I've not got a message. I've not got a reply. I've not been tagged in anything. Yeah, I suppose I can search the name, but it depends if the name's the same. You tagged me on Twitter. Great. Is this you? Oh, I saw this. Are you white hair witch? I really like this. I, I already saw this. I liked it today. I liked this today. Are you white hair witch? We'll definitely go over this. Anyway, so both for first, second and third, you get a VX Cyber Kongs. Okay, that is some juicy reward. Fourth place will get 500 sand plus 400 banana. And then fifth to 10th place will get 500 sand plus 100 banana. So juicy, juicy rewards. Juicy, juicy rewards. Super juicy rewards for the Cyberkongs. So when we say... Well, um, and then obviously create a GIF of your fully animated asset. Uh, guidelines, assets uh, should not exceed more than 5k faces. Assets should n uh, not exceed a max of 120 nodes and the maximum asset size. I would like to say as well, I noticed if the person who created the Big Ben is in this chat, the Big Ben, like you've continued to edit that and that is fantastic. It does break height restrictions from what I can see. Um, so there, there is that issue. I am, um, yeah, and I've got a feeling you entered the Big Ben and nobody checks the height of it and it did, it did get through to the final voting because it's a fantastic asset. 
Um, it really should have been checked. So it might be this one time the height restriction has a slide. Like, we'll let it slide this time. But obviously, sorry for a different username. No, 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 it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, it's it's fine. It's It just gets a little confusing, which is why I'm like, you need to tell me who you are when, when you're tagging me on stuff. But now I know who you are, and it's great. But yeah, so if the person who made the giant Big Ben... Just remember, you potentially you need to break that. If In fact, if you're creating any super large assets, break them into sections so they don't break the height restrictions for contests and things. Okay. Anyway, let's get this up. So I'm going to get this up. I absolutely love this one. I really, really do. I think the only thing I would say is potentially have um like these colored buttons make them so maybe they light up as if they're going through it and once again same with the other one i get that we're doing a cyber kongs contest and so you guys want to put put the the logo on the side now if in the future you potentially want to actually put this in your game you would need to take that cyber kongs logo out um, I would say you could have the logo off of that and you would still fully understand what it is. Maybe even instead on the side where the CyberKongs logo is, you just do a purple and green banana as like, a, you know, like, hey, it's in reference to that. Generally, the color scheme is good. I like the you stop messaging me. I like the use of different shades that you've done here. And from what I can see, you've used a lot of like shade, shade, um, different shades to create um, sort of a more 3D-ish image without actually needing to add too many faces. I'm guessing this is pretty low on the face front. I know we've got a little bit at the top up here. I'm, I'm actually curious as to uh my bad as to whether this has been submitted or not so i'm actually going to quickly check because if it has then i i can give you some better feedback from a larger image uh if... yes you have In which case you should have done... Did you do additional um, images, I'm wondering? Yeah. So, from this... Oh, wait. Huh. I'm going to have to highlight it. Just because you can kind of see other people's entries in the background and that's not too fair. So... From what I'm seeing here, you could potentially... I'm not too worried about how many faces you've got on this. I actually feel like you've done a really good job not having too many faces at all. I'm actually interested to see how many faces your asset has. And I'm guessing it's quite low. Oh, yeah, 1,342. This right, this right here, absolutely everybody, is a prime example of creating a very high detailed good asset with a low-ish amount of faces. Okay, so Amaratsu, I want to say this is a very, very good amount of faces for an asset to have. This is highly optimized. It is a very highly optimized asset. It's got a good amount of detail on it. I would say potentially it will push your faces up slightly, but if you have these colored buttons light up, so all you would do is have the dim version as the main button and then just do an animation of the same size where you pull out the, the bright one just slightly above so it looks like it's come on and gone off. 
Um, love the color scheme of it. The only thing I would say potentially obviously would be an issue outside of this contest is let's say, you know, in the future you want to mint this, you pretend you will have kickback from the CyberKong's logo on the side. And I get during these things, you want to put the logo on it. And I did mention, um, to Vox Machina who had done, done an asset with the logo on that you would want to take that logo off in the future. So the logo is the main one. I would say as well, maybe not having like the brightness that we're seeing. Always checking Game Maker how bright it is. But it is, I would say the blue bit is a little bit too bright. And the words right there that show up as it spins, different, different words. Um, could maybe potentially be done in a different color because it is quite hard to see them from this point of view. Now, I don't know whether it's the render itself that's doing this. If it looks good in the game maker, looks good on the thumbnail when it's in the in your inventory on Sandbox, I would say it's fine. But just from this render, the logo itself is a little bit dark. This is also a really good asset that you could potentially do a little bit more on. I love how futuristic it is when it spins around um like as if you know you're sort of swiping to choose it uh the back of it i would say maybe add a couple more bananas potentially because there seems to be a big big portion on the back of it i wish i could like play this like a video honestly um but right right here we got this huge space. We've got this very, very big space that doesn't seem to have anything going for it. So potentially right there. And on the side, you've done like a little grate. On the front, you've done a little grate. I would potentially like to see on the bottom corner. Bottom corner, add a little grate right there as well. And if you have time, you could potentially add another animation to this where somebody selects it so you have it so it looks like a button's being pressed and a banana or the carton itself falls out and comes out of that little i'm guessing this blue bit right here i'm assuming this is where the banana pops out from so you could do an additional animation there you don't need to really worry about collisions because your asset is very boxy and even though you've got this bit coming off which by the way great use of tilting doing the tilt and uh, to get that like in that shape is a excellent excellent use of use of uh being able to put models together to explore different uh shapes and do different styles on a very block type asset um but overall i think this is really really nice i would say maybe add an additional animation as if something's being chosen if you have the time for that if you have in fact if you have the time for that resubmit with that being the animation to show so have maybe it do the spin and then after you've done the spin animation have it so it looks like a button's being selected and the banana drops um, I think that would be very, very good. Uh, the, uh, the other things is obviously maybe a grate on the back of it and an additional banana on that very empty space you've got going on. Blue potentially needs toning down and the writing potentially needs to be a bit darker, but that will vary as well, depending what it looks like. It could just be the render. Hey, Mr. Marak Mark, how are you doing? But overall, this is this is this is what I was looking for when when we did a contest where we're like inspired by Cyberkongs. This is it. This is kind of what I'm looking for. So I know they already have like their banana vendor, and it's a very nice vendor. This is a real good sort of you know it fits in the theme. It really does work with their branding. Uh, so I really like this. I really do like this. I think you did a great job. But I would be curious, what does anybody in the chat have some feedback? 
as well. I think that would be quite nice. In fact, in fact, does anybody in, would anybody in the chat ha like to have to blah, blah 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 English today, please? Does anyone in the chat uh, want me to do any feedback on their assets they've created for contests and stuff like that? Maybe we can do this. Like a lot of the bigger contests they've run for around about three weeks, I think. I could be wrong, two weeks. Two weeks, they usually run for about two weeks. Maybe a week into it, I could be like, hey, let me look over your assets and give you feedback. Um, much like, obviously, Joseph and Conrad do the, hey, let, uh, let me play your games and give you feedback. Um, maybe we can, we can do that too. Let me know what you guys think. Would you like that to be a thing? Because I definitely wouldn't mind making that a thing. Anyway, I have my list of uh, things that I need to create for this sandbox wedding thing. I've also got a huge, I've got a drawing of the plan of what the social hub's going to look like. I need to do an additional plan because there's going to be like two, two, like three stages. So there's going to be the... I don't want to say it's like a hen night stag do thing, bachelor, bachelorette uh, game, but it would be kind of like that. So it'd be like, get the bride drunk. You've got to run around and find all the beer bottles. When will, when will end the Cybercoms? So the end of the Cybercoms contest is uh, 11.59 p.m. UTC on the 19th, okay? So that's when it ends. Now, unfortunately, I won't have my laptop with me and I will be most likely... No. Okay, so the issue is I will be in New York by then and the time zone, I'm going to have to double check and potentially put an alarm on my phone. But if the submission form isn't closed by the actual deadline... I will be taking out anybody that submitted after the deadline. So the form might not be closed on deadline, but we won't accept anybody past that deadline. Uh, so yeah, you've got a couple of days, five days? Five days, you've got like five days left to get something created and made. So work hard, make something amazing. And don't make a Cybercongs. Do not, in fact, just don't make an ape. Just don't. Because as much as you might be like, oh, it might be all right. It doesn't look as like, look, just don't do it. Don't do it. I've had a few ideas I've given you guys. If you do want to make an ape, maybe make like a baby version of an ape that's doing something where it doesn't look like it. it is a Cybercon VX, but still fits within their world. But like potentially, please, unless you can do it really, really well, Please just stay away from the apes. Please. Please. Because I've already seen six submissions where I'm like, nope. No, you've just, you've copied a cyber. You've literally gone and got yourself a profile picture, like gone and looked at a profile picture of a cybercoms and gone, I'm making that. No, don't. Inspired by the cybercoms universe. Even says in letters, don't, don't do it. And I've got great news for you guys. I have, in fact, updated the Vox Edit guideline stuff now for the Git book. Now, I do want to say it does state that it needs to be below 150 nodes. Like the maximum is 150 nodes. That is to go into effect from July. So the Cybercons contest is the last one this month and the 120 nodes applies to this one. After that, we're moving up to 150. Now, because, and I have put it forward to the Vox Edit team, the people who work on Vox Edit, I have put it forward, hey, potentially, could we have something that will indicate how many nodes uh, you have? Because we are implementing this and it is an optimization feature for assets to be optimized, a high amount of nodes makes it v not optimized. It can cause a lot of issues. So, so yeah, I've suggested that because we are implementing it. The main reason we're implementing it is because there, there was some 
there was a contest where the winners were going to have their assets minted, but the assets needed to also be optimized for the sandbox because it was part of of part of it that if you won you would have your assets minted so you needed to make sure your assets were optimized the problem was this wasn't communicated to me which meant that when we were going through all the submissions to go through the final voting i put through a fair amount of non-optimized assets they were good but they were not optimized had I known this information, we would have implemented this rule because if the basics of the entire asset uh, would need to be changed to the point where it wouldn't be the same asset, then it's unfair to expect the artist to do that and to allow them to also potentially win and be like, you need to change almost your entire asset because of this reason. So because of this, we are implementing the nodes. 120 we feel was a little bit low so we're gonna up it to 150 see how that goes we may up it to 200 if we can get the optimization there so we'll be doing a ton of testing to see when it stops being optimized uh but high node count causes more issues than high face count so we've got the face count there for optimization we're gonna have the node count there for optimization as well from july it will be 150 I will allow a little bit over because like I said, we don't have anything for indicates, which means you need to count and I also need to count them. If I look at an asset and I'm like, this looks like it's way past node count, I'm going to have to open the file up and count every single node. So yeah. I will allow a little over. I'm not going to go crazy. It's not going to be like a limit of 150. You guys have done two to 300. I'm not going to be like, yeah, sure, that's fine. It will be like, I'll let it slide like 10 to 20 over. Because if you're counting out of that, then you're bad at maths, okay? If you're that far out. But anyway, we have this new bit that shows you on the Vox Edit Git book, shows you everything. So I've put the guidelines right at the start. The Vox Edit Weekly had the guidelines right at the bottom. We actually have the guidelines right at the top now. So you cannot go wrong. These are important. You must be 18 years of age or over to enter these contests. Your submissions must be original, made entirely by you. you. Cannot make an asset of a character that belongs to someone else, i.e. Marvel, Disney, Sega, and all of that jazz. You, you guys comprehending? Don't break copyright. You all, anybody submitting for this clearly has access to the internet. Please just Google it. If you're unsure, literally give it a Google. It'll make my job so much easier. Um, so please just, just give it a Google and there should be some that are, you know, fairly obvious. I also didn't realize, but apparently Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, the general book character is now, um, public, public domain. So use that information as you will. Your submission, uh, must... Your submission must be made using Vox Edit. People have mentioned, hey, can I use other 3D software? No. Vox Edit, you have to make it in Vox Edit. Needs to be made using Vox Edit. Uh, you, your submission must follow performance and Vox Edit guidelines as well as the sandbox term of use. Provided here so you can look at the terms of use and the guidelines right there. Your submit submission must not exceed a face limit of 5,000. Your submission must not exceed over 150 nodes or 120 if you partaking within the Cybercons contest. And then after that, it's 150. Unless stated otherwise in the Medium article for a particular contest. So there may be particular contests where they're like, yes, we want them to go crazy with nodes. Or we might be like, hey, we need to lower the node limit because these assets we wish the winners of these assets to be featured in an alpha, for example, then we may lower the node, um, the node count. 
for making sure it is optimized, especially if it's going to be all 10 winners. Um, and then if everybody has made an asset at 150 notes, all at 5k face limit, then that could prove a little bit of an issue if all of them are in one experience. Your submission needs to be appropriate for all ages and must not contain anything that may be offensive, hurtful, or hateful. So just, you know, be respectful. You must agree that your asset may be used by the sandbox, for example, on social media. Your submission must adhere to the theme of the contest. Uh, you're more, you may submit multiple assets, but they must adhere to the above guidelines. So ever think above that. Spam submitting several low quality or non-effort entries may result in disqualification. Hope that helps. And then making your entry, it goes through all the steps of making an entry. Submitting. So making a GIF of your asset. The other thing that we ask is to provide a GTLF and faces image. So how to export your GLTF and how to take a picture of the faces. Submit your entry. Oh, and also from July as well, we will have a section for you guys to submit an MP4. This is to help our team be able to get out high quality video footage of the winner's assets while not taking up too many of our team's resources. So yeah, you'll be able to do that. But the main asset, when we vote on these, we vote off of the gifts you provide. The voting form only supports the gifts. It does not support MP4s. So please, please make sure that you are submitting the gifts. Don't submit MP4s in the gift section because then you will be null and void. In fact, that reminds me, somebody did in fact submit an MP4 for their asset. So if you could just, you know, maybe re-upload, can't remember who it is. If I see that asset on social media, I might just be like, hey, you submitted an MP4, please resubmit. Just so they know. But yes, you, oh, whoops. You will also need to provide email just in case the team My needs golf, to contact you. Feedback off. And you will need to so, um, provide a social media link as well in case the team need to contact you. Uh, closing uh, all of this. There we go. Fairly simple. You guys get to know. Right. Should we get into creating? So I've got my list of things. I am going to start off real simple. We're going to go right into my real house of creating a like tables and chairs, wedding tables and chairs. Haven't decided whether I want round tables or rectangle tables. So I'm actually going to make both. So let's create new assets. I'm going to create a folder, uh, wedding, create the folder wedding. And we're going to do this as, out, whoops. Table one. So first thing we do, whenever we open up the animator, we go over to the skeleton. Just good practice, guys. Get used to doing it. Create child node. And we're going to call this control node. And then off of the control node, I'm going to call this table. So let's do new table. And I want a 50. 50 rate. But how's, how's everybody's week and everything going? You, you guys having a great week? What are you up to? What are you doing? Okay, and let's just... That's the right size. 
So a wedding this past Saturday. Oh, that's awesome. I'm guessing you had a lovely time, I hope. Hope you had a lovely time. I love weddings. A good wedding's great. Duplicate. Let's just see if I've done this the right size. I feel like half the time I always get it like slightly off. Actually, that's pretty perfect. This is obviously not perfectly round and you could make it a little bit smaller to make it more rounded, but I'm pretty happy with this. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna, whoops. Raise, come here. Raise it up around about around about there. Going to go here. Like that. I'm gonna make it a little bit taller, so we're gonna probably do Roughly, I want to say five for thickness. That, or yeah, okay, it's a little bit over. I'm thinking if I do this, go table two, move table two to table two, edit table two. Just ever so slightly, we're just going to take this side off. There's that side, and that should make it perfect. And we will double check. Yeah, not quite. in that up in a bit. Now, uh, what sort of, t I haven't really thought about this. Uh, wedding tables, I'm looking at wedding tables. Always love a good Pinterest. Do you guys use Pinterest or anything like that? I am thinking potentially just doing square tables. Everybody does round tables at weddings. I could have a mix, couldn't I? I could have a mix. I thought this was going to be the easiest one. I was like, I can do tables. Right, we'll do table number one. Let's, let's do... The, we can change this. I'm going to go back to you. And we're going to have a mix of tables. I'm going to fill this up. I'm going to make it a bit longer, so we're going to make it about 80 so it gets enough people on it. 50 to that side seems fine. 80 should be enough, two side by side, so two there, two there, one there, one there. Should be, should be enough, I would say. Potentially, should be fine. And just center it. Okay. We need a 
table legs. So I'm going to go with... Maybe... I don't know! This is stressful. I've never been this indecisive over what I'm creating. Don't like the colour. Hey, Game Dizzy, how you doing? How are you, my friend? I'm being super indecisive and I'm sure it's driving everybody insane. I'm just going to have a little bit right there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to change the table legs again. You look amazing as always. Thank you. You look as amazing as always, Game Dizzy. You look fantastic. I feel like the main problem is that there's potential that this is going to not look anything like what the actual wedding will look like. And then people are like, this isn't what your wedding picture showed us. Are you ready to see me in a bear costume? Are you, wait, are you going to NFT NYC in a bear costume? Excited for NFT N NYC, yeah. Wait, <laughs> NFT NYC, yeah, 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 NFT. NYC, yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't come in a bear costume, I'm gonna be disappointed. I wanna see a giant bear walking around NFT NYC. Again, congrats, congrats again, by the way. So I did see you say congrats last time, but I got super distracted by doing whatever I was doing. So I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, I haven't even checked the weather. Do you know what? We're ha it's gonna be like 33, 32 degrees. Uh, Celsius, not Fahrenheit, because uh, we, we do Celsius here, um, on Friday, and that to me is too hot, so I need to see what New York's going to be like, New York, it's probably too soon, whatever, so what's their prediction for the forecast, okay, so it's going to be 27 on Sunday when I arrive, that's pretty cool, Monday's going to be 27, apparently Tuesday's going to be raining, so that kind of sucks, uh, how far does it go? Oh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're all going to be rubbish. It's just going to be warm, but like cloudy. And then Friday is going to get sunny again. This, this all better change. This all better change. I want to see sun, 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 sun. Only sun. That's what I want to see. Like... 20, oh, but it is going to be hot. It's going to be, it's going to be like 20, 26, almost the entire time that I'm there. 26, 27. So that's hot. That's too hot. I'm comfortable at 21. Give me 21 degrees. For anybody in Fahrenheit, that is uh, 21 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So 69.8. So basically 70. 70 uncomfortable and I think past that then I start to get a little uncomfortable and potentially a little hot angry I get I get quite moody when I'm too hot so as long as I've got shade and a drink in my hand I should be fine um but yeah it's uh, the clouds better go bye byes because panda wanna be partying and shorts be prepared for pasty legs I love my pasty legs I will most likely be wearing shorts and uh, the thing is, so I have the skin, the skin of my father, basically, whereas my sister has my mum and her dad's skin tone. We have different dads. And what happens to their skin tone is so my mum's got a little bit of an olive complexion to her and she gets she browns very, very easily. And she goes a lovely shade when she's out in the sun for any amount of time. 
and the town will stay on her for a, a, a very long time. She doesn't peel. She doesn't really get burnt. She doesn't go red. I think I've seen her red once, and that's when she didn't use sunscreen and went to Mexico and accidentally laid out in the sun with nothing on. And she went slightly red from the pictures, but then just went completely brown. Um, so whereas I, I get... I, I burn, I go red like a lobster, and then if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I will, I will, well, I will start to peel, so that's, that's beautiful, I'll just, you know, be pulling skin off of my shoulders, but if I'm really lucky, if I'm really lucky, after I've peeled the skin off, there will be ever so slight a different shade of, of paper sheet white, just just a slight different shade where I'm like, oh, I'm tanned. And people are like, your tan is my normal. Um, so yes, um, if I if I'm if I'm if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I might get a slight tan. So I've I've come to accept my pure pastiness and I love it. Okay, I love my pure pastiness because there's no way I'm going to risk the horrible after effects of the the burning just to get a tan because i'm absolutely fine my my mum and my sister can have the beautiful olive skin and i will just be sheet i will just look like a ghost of rain and we were out for the ceremony but it was only sunny that is lovely that is do you know what that's one of those things where i bet you had so many people go to you Oh, the sun came out just for you. The sun is here for your wedding. It's like, well, okay, if you say so, but like, not really. You hate it, Game Dizzy. You hate, you hate being like po pasty white. I love my pasty whiteness. I accept it. I mean, I'm not too pasty white because like, obviously this shirt is is like, you know, white or off white. And I'm not blended into it, but I am I am fairly pasty. Burning sucks. Burning does suck. Burning does suck. I, the thing is, though, I love being out on the beach. I love uh, swimming and stuff like that. The issue was we used to go, like, swimming, bodyboarding and surfing and all that jazz. And I love it, but I would get horribly burnt if I hadn't been lathered beforehand and then lathered afterwards with sun cream. And the whole, like, oh, put some after sun on, it's fine. And you get in the shower and the water's running on you and you're like, oh, I'm going to be red tomorrow. And then you're just, you're just burnt. You're just like, oh, I'm a lobster today. That's cool. You wear UV clothes. Oh, wow, that's, that's intelligent. I feel like that's very, that's a very intelligent thing for you to do. That's called a bear suit. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Dizzy, it's called a bear suit. Get it right. Get it right, Dizzy. How can you not know what, what you're wearing? You're wearing your bear suit. I feel like this table is not quite high enough. I'm going to go for 30. Move it up and just do this bit. Like pull down the feet. Like that. I think that might be alright. Right back, no probably I get sick if I get burnt. Yeah, it's not great. Do you have a business mail? I do. And if you are watching me on YouTube, actually, no, I haven't been putting it in my most, in my live streams. Uh, go to any one of my general videos and scroll right to the bottom of the description and it will have my business email in it. And I haven't checked my business email for a little while, which by the way, if you send me a business email over the NFT NYC, oh my gosh, that's a lot of emails. Right, no, that's rubbish. Cool. Um, oh, yeah. They're sending me weird stuff.
Give me a second. Ah, somebody's a big fan and they want me to hear about different crypto games. That's cute. But by the way, anybody that's like, oh, that looks cool. Anybody who's like, hey, I want to, you know, offer you a business thing. Generally, unless it's a crypto game, I'm willing to play. I don't do that much. Can you please drop it here? Not really, because I'm, I'm working. But it's like panda, panda pops crypto at gmail.com. Fresh paint in the hair. Yes, Zumzi. Oh, wait, Zumzi, were you in the sandbox stream that I did yesterday over on the sandbox channel? Why have you not closed? Close. Because my hair was yellow. I had bleached it. It was very orange. I put toner in and it looked like it was like it was a little yellow, but it was like it would do. And then overnight, for whatever re weird reason, the toner was like, yeah, I ain't staying. And so the toner went bye byes and my hair was like yellow and then the leftover blue. Basically, I was the Ukraine flag. Uh, so I went and bought more toner yesterday and then toned it after the live stream and then added the blue later on. No, I, t I toned it right before the live stream. It still looked a little yellow, but less so. And then I put the blue in. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah, so it was, it's not too bad. Right, what do we want to put on this table? We need flowers. That's that's what we need. We need some we need some lovely flowers. Gonna go back to Pinterest real quick. It looks cool today. It does look cool today, Garnican. Let's get over to Pinterest. Let's get over to Pinterest. Who else uses Pinterest, right? Am I right? It's great. Okay, I've got a really cool idea. So let's do new uh, mid section, I guess. I think of what I actually want to call it. This was meant to be the easiest bit, by the way. I was meant to be like, I can smash out a table. Everybody knows I can do tables. And then I start doing a table. I'm like, well, what am I making? What is this? And then I became stressed. Oops. Oh, what color do I want? Not that looks almost like the color I want. We're gonna go with that one. So this is meant to be like a wooden type log thing, like, like in the center that we're gonna put like flowers and candles on. By the way, this isn't something I to be honest, this I would like this on on my table at a wedding. I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks pretty cool. Don't know about you guys, but I legit think I I like anything that's sort of more nature inspired, so like wood items and things like that. My partner's parents had uh the tree surgeons out to cut back many of their trees, including a willow tree. So they didn't cut them down, they just you know, they were getting quite large and overbearing the land. So they did their tree surgeon-y stuff, but they kept all the logs. And out of one set of logs, they actually created this gorgeous, gorgeous wooden little side table. And I really liked it. And I really like stuff like that. 
Panda's table's on point. Not always, but most of the time. I did try and do a different table, I think I showed you guys last time, but I can't remember. Um, table center, I guess. All that. Okay, I could potentially make this a bit bigger, and I like the fact, in fact, I'm going to. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So we're going to go 15 across. Yeah, 15 across by 16. I'm going to make this actually an 18. Might not be that large, but let's, let's potentially make it larger. Okay, uh, but yeah, what's what's everybody up to recently? What are you guys creating? What are you building? Tell me everything I want to know. Spill the beans, spill the tea. Let me know everything. Because I'm nosy and I want to know. Is that? And then with this, whoops, this will go slightly darker. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I think that will look particularly fetching. Oh, it looks so pretty! Alright, I don't care what any of you guys say, a big slab of log. Looks beautiful. Looks absolutely lovely. But it would have to be, you know, sourced from a tree that had only had its branches cut back, not actually cut down. Will there be cake on it? No, this is a table centerpiece. So we're going to put some candles on this. And we're going to have some flowers on it. It's really pretty. It is. Oh, it's so bright. Ah! Okay, let's do the candles because that's the easiest. I've already made candles before, but let's make new candles, you guys. Let's do the candleness. Now, it's going to be really hard for me to do how I want the candles to actually look. But I'm going to go for a stone type base. And then we're going to just have the little tea light candle in the center. So I'm going to go for this beige color. It's like a little tea light. Then all we're going to have is just a bright light. So we'll take that off. Like that. That could potentially be pretty bad. Ah, right. We're going to have it there and then we're going to sort it out. So we're going to make it small. I much prefer doing smaller to larger than larger to smaller. I always feel like it, it can be easier to to take things off that way. 
Uh, so candle one. Have a look how that looks. Okay, it's pretty large, I'm not going to lie. I think potentially it, it looks a bit odd. I'm not, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I'm going to get rid of that and we're just going to push it in. Like that, take that off. Mm. Just going to have a quick look at some candles. So I think I need to go for a slightly more yellow tone to the actual candle itself. This could be all right. Maybe just go down slightly. Potentially. And it. Kind of looks like the beige I already had, but sure, why not? Shimmy down. Make it too high. With the light right there. Maybe. Maybe cheese and wine. We can definitely do that. Let's just see how this looks. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I actually kind of like that more. I could, I've got an idea of what I could do, so we'll try that in a minute. Just to make it look a little bit. And in fact, let's let's try it now. What color did I do the base again? Okay, number two. Two, two number two, candle base. Two, number two, number two, there we go. All right. Oh. Set to center. Set to center, thank you. Right, and then off of the candle, we can have a child node called base one. Grab it. What we're going to do is we're going to move it up, out slightly. Get it, tilt it like this. Actually, wait, no, before we tilt it, I'm going to make four copies. So we're going to duplicate base two, duplicate base three, and duplicate base four. From here, we're going to get base two, shimmy you this way, and we're going to get base three, and rotate base three. Way. That in up there, and base four out. Gonna rotate it as well. it in right and from here i get each one we're just going to tilt slightly tilt this one oh hello this one slightly 11 okay and you need to whoops and um, got it fully into place, so we're gonna play about with that slightly as well. Play ten. Eleven. Okay, so what we're going to do is this one is gonna move slightly here. This one is going to move slightly here. Not down. Okay. This way. Yeah. 
That's that's better. And then just from afar, it now kind of looks like it's in a little little case, right? Do we think now it looks like it's in a little case? I could potentially just edit this slightly better. Could maybe pull it out a little bit more, but we'll we'll leave it at that for now. And then all I need to do, because I want multiple, more. I want multiple so I can duplicate the candle node and just call this candle two. And then we just have another candle. Just rotate it like that. So now we have two little candles on there. <clears throat> right, just checking for the time. How long have I been streaming? Wow, an hour 15 already? That is insane. So what? Also, the Snoop Dogg special contest, I believe, finishes on, thir <coughs> on Thursday. And I want to, before we go on break, I want to cover a few things on the Snoop Dogg contest. So remind me. Uh, let's do a lovely little table vase type thing. Now, peonies are my favorite flowers, but I don't think I can uh, make... I don't think I could... I don't think I can make that a table centerpiece, especially in this. So for anybody that doesn't know what peonies are, uh, these are peonies. This is a peony bush. These are my favorite flowers. Um, I think they're just absolutely stunning and they smell absolutely gorgeous. They come in a variety of different colors and I just think that they're, they're just stunning. They're my favorite. But I don't think I can make it really... I mean, maybe something like that. Oh, that's from Sheen. Cool. They can't be real. No, they are not. Let's just try with an idea. Oh, what could we do? And I think of some ideas. So we've got already a fair bit of stuff. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna call it vase. Don't know what vase is gonna look like. It's gonna look like cement. Does anybody want to throw out some suggestions on what the... Maybe, like, a tall bottle could be cool. Um, or just generally... Just a plant pot, I guess. It's hard to do, like, tin. So maybe a brassy pot. Like a bucket, a brass type bucket. Maybe something like this. We'll see how it goes. Uh, with this being filled at the minute, I'm just going to make it dark. And a handle coming off of it, potentially. We'll see how it goes. 
It's a little bit annoying when there's so much like little things that that you want in a build. So, uh, Faz bucket. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks large. Is what it looks like. It looks not nice, is what I'm going to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it grey for now. Whoops. Oh, all that colours. Oh. Let's just make it that for now. Still don't like it. I don't like it at all, actually. I'm going to delete the whole thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not nice. I don't like it. Okay, let's go for a height of eight. And let's try again. Now let's try the bottle idea. So I'm going to go with a height of nine, actually, for the bottle idea. And the best way I like to do this is... I like to start over here and get the shape of the bottle. So we're going to do about that. Go up a little bit. Go up again. No. Go that. And up. We actually do need to make it taller. So I'm going to go for a 15. Probably don't need it to be a 15. Carry on going up until we're about there. It looks a little bit more like a bottle and a vase now. Um, kind of want to look. Maybe we could just do a really nice jug, actually, with and um, which we can make with different shapes. I kind of want to try that real quick. So we go with base like that. A little bit. Mm, let's make it a twelve. Is a little bit more. Goes out, out, up. Starts to just slide off, up. Tip, and then we'll make the rest of the jug separately, as well as a handle coming off separately too. See how that looks. This almost looks exactly like the bottle. I'm not gonna. Then we'll just go bloop, bloop, bloop. Isn't great, but we can do some little edits here and there. Tip side. I hate it when I've got to work out what I've got to do. <laughs> got none at the bottom. It's that's there. Two, two. There. Dude, that looks. That look right. Don't like it. I already don't like it. All right, we'll see. We we might be able to make this work. Might we might be able to make it work. Like flower stems coming out of it. So let's do stem one. Hit the green. Very, very simple. We go up three. And we're going to put the 
bottom, center it at the bottom. And from the vase, create a stem one. Actually, create a flower one. And stem one's going to come off a of flower one. To rotate you. Okay. Have a couple of different stems coming off and flowers. Right, how are we doing for time? Do you know what? I still haven't. Oh, wow. Okay, five more minutes. Uh, in which case, because we're going to be going to break very soon, uh, I will talk about the Snoop Dogg stuff. Just after I've made a couple more stems, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, call this stem two. Then on stem two, I'm going to color it just slightly different. We're going to go for a lighter color. I'm also going to do the height, just one, one more. Everything else is exactly the same. Leave that there. And then we're going to copy again and we're going to call this stem three. And we're going to go down to stem three and we're going to go for another shade. Just going to make this darker and delete. Oh, whoops. Delete this bit so that it's only too high this time. And there we go, we have that bit. And then we're going to do new and we're going to go flower. And it's going to be very hard to get a detailed flower because one voxel will forever always be just one voxel. Please, please, please keep that in mind when you are creating things. So you cannot do additional detail. One voxel will always be just one, one voxel. You can't change the shape or anything like that. Uh, shape, you can't change the level of detail without increasing absolutely everything else. Okay. Okay. Oh, whoops. That off. Add a little dot right there. Looks lovely. And we're going to do that. Save. What I'm going to do is we're going to edit this, call this flower two. We're going to go to flower two. We're going to go for a slightly darker pink now. So I'm going to go through these pinks. I'm going to change it up. I want it closer to a red e peach. Ah, this is also going to go up in color. Right up there needs to be darker. Same with this one. Take it up and go for a slightly darker color as well. Now we got a couple of them right there. We're going to take this stem. And we're going to go and add a flower to the stem. Pop that. Oh, wow, the flower is huge. The flower is huge. It will be fine. And we might need to add a few smaller ones, but it, it shall be fine, I think. Yeah, we have something like that doesn't look too too shabby we're we're getting there i am also thinking so for those that don't know there has been an update it's wasn't pushed as like a whole new update to fox edit there will be a whole new update coming where you'll have to um you know download the latest updated version of fox edit they have done a few little things that some people don't realize one of those is now the now, much like, what's the best way to explain this? So like I tell you, whenever you create an asset, even if you break up the collision, so like I've done here, I've broken up all of the collision for each of these individual pieces. Now, if I do another static animation, even static animations, if I did another one on here and I left the default animation on this one, it will, put, it will put a collision box over the entire asset. Now, if I am able to hide pieces within the table, so let's just do new and we're going to call this empty 01. If I go to empty 01 and I hide everything in inside the table, 
No, we move the vase down. And let's just pretend that we don't see the vase there. But, oh, whoops. But we move absolutely everything into the table so it's not visible. Sometimes you might need to play about. Um, you know, I could potentially lay the vase on its side. Might still be a little bit too thick, but let's just... Okay. Uh, the table's just a little, like, if I made it one one thicker underneath, it would be fine. But then I made MT01, the default animation, even with additional, additional pieces, the collision will still just be the main table. And I just realized it's, it's one too high. There we go. So the collision will still be this, even though I've got additional ones on there. But you need to make sure it is on your on the that it's defaulted so you can change the default by set as default you click the little menu bar i believe i may be in the way yes i am so where's my thing so i can so i'm just gonna just gonna move no i'm gonna move this way there we go so you see these little little dots right over here that uh that no they're over here these little dots right there you can set as default so now the, the collision box for the entire thing will be over this portion, okay? This is going to be super, super helpful for you guys. Now, that only works if you're able to hide things in the asset, and that's your default one. If you create a room still, um, then it will still put a collision box over that entire room, even if you've got holes and stuff inside of it. So if we just take a quick example of the basement room... Let's pretend I want different basement rooms and I've made like a wall extra thick to hide all the paintings in so that all the paintings are hiding in the wall and we can just have empty brick room and then painting room. The collisions will still be on. You still won't be able to enter that room because it will put a collision over the entire thing. So even though this doorway is open, even if everything's hidden somewhere, um then the doorways you're still not going to be able to enter it so just remember that is there any sandbox influencer on youtube or twitch over 20k subs or follow i mean i'm not over 20k subs or follow but i'm probably the most influential sandbox creator there is because i am the vox edit community manager and have been within the creator fund for over two years but um sure oh actually no Crypto Stash. Crypt Crypto Stash, I believe, is over 20k. Uh, on Chain Gaming, aka Jake. He does more on Gala, but he has mentioned uh, Sandbox. So I would say Crypto Stash is the most influential in Sandbox because he does make regular Sandbox. Plus, he is an ambassador for Sandbox too. So there is, there is that. Uh, but... I'm your best bet if you want to know information about Vox Edit or Sandbox, honestly, uh, that's on YouTube. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to have a quick look. Sand Sandbox itself, they don't have over 20k, but... Oh, no, they should. Sandbox game. I don't know how many subscribers... There, yeah, they have 137. There you go. Sandbox, I make videos for them as well on their channel as an employee by them. By the way, my streams are my own thing. They are not Sandbox's streams. My streams are my streams. Uh, so there is that. Uh, let's just have a quick look. Any names? Yeah, cri literally Crypto Stash is your best bet. He's got a lot. If if you don't like me, Crypto Stash. But uh, Crypto Stash isn't really like doesn't really do Vox Edit stuff. Uh, like I kind of want to know why why the twenty k subs like why that. But also also on Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter already, which you guys should, I have over forty k followers over there. So there you go. Andy Ritchie as well has over 40k over on Twitch, uh, on Twitter. Like, bloody bollocks. 
Were we allowed to say things here like bloody bollocks? Sure. They're not swear words. Why? I mean, in UK, bloody is definitely not a swear word. That's just part of everybody's vocab. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, I mean, okay, technically it is, but like it isn't. Bollocks. Yeah, okay, kids shouldn't really be saying bollocks, but like you could, but a kid could say I got a right bollocking. Like you're getting a right told off. So... You know, yeah, sure, you can say that. If I don't, if I don't want to read certain swear words, then I just I just won't voice them. But otherwise, I I'm not that bothered. Anyway, let's let's talk about the doggies thing. Well, I don't want to say the English versions though. That that's reserved for comrades chat. Wait, why? Why? Why are why are they reserved for comrades? Is it is 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 it because he just doesn't like? Because I've had conversations with comrade and he's just like, wait, what? Like when I was saying, you know, carry on, and like, oh, I've got to order some hand luggage. It's like, what? What is that hand luggage? It's like, yeah, you carry on or. I can't remember if he picked up on me saying Hendu and Stag Knight, but yeah, it's like little things like that where he just kind of mini takes the piss. I love it. You're yeah, working with Sandra. I like you. Come on. I was just looking for creators with more than 20k follower just digging in. Crypto stash. Crypto stash. I mean, if you're looking, like, honestly, there's not that many. I can give you create if you want creators. It can give you creator names, but if you're only if you're looking for creators with 20k plus, Crypto Stash, who does videos on Sandbox, not so much on the creating side of Sandbox, but does VIP stream while he streams on the Sandbox, because wild in there. You can do. Don't just save it for Conrad. Give it to me. Give it to me, people. Give me the fun stuff. Stop saving it all for Comrade. He gets you all the time. It's like, it's like when parents break up and the mum always has to be the serious one and the dad gets all the fun stuff. You're giving Comrade all the fun stuff and I have to be the serious one. Don't make me be the serious one. Please don't. But if you generally, if you want creators that don't go with your stats of 20k then you've got uh, cyber dragon you've got voxel blaze in fact how many how many people how many is voxel blaze at i don't know if he's on youtube he's on twitch okay voxel blaze is on twitch if you want to watch voxel blaze does streams cyber dragon uh v pyre half dork You've got uh, King of Crypto. You've got Game Dizzy. Uh, Sandstorm generally does a bunch of really cool stuff. You have Andy Ritchie, also one of the people that do that, um, that do like game maker stuff. You have uh, Cody Zini, Zen, Co Cody Zine, and Lozen. You have uh, Maddox. The, there's a there's a lot of people that do like a ton of this content, but if you're looking for that 20k, if if you want 20k plus for crypto content, I can also give you a whole bunch. Crypto stash, Kagi, uh, King of uh, just, uh, uh, on chain gaming, uh, Bryson, uh, off the top of my head, who else? Who else? Who else? There's another person off the top of my head, lost his name. But he is a dad and he's rad. I'm a mum and I'm fun. Hey, I'm a mum and I'm fun. Del, Del Caso, go, we got Del Caz. Del Caz, I didn't know that you were still streaming and stuff. We got Del Caz. <clears throat> this is going to irritate me, but I can't remember everybody's names. Um, you, you have King of Crypto. I've already said Cri King of Crypto. Um, you have Rock808. Uh, 
had oh the, um i like these guys uh is it just can't remember i know i know they're Met meta nomads i think it is do a bunch of stuff meta nomads I'm <coughs> double checking. Meta nomads, meta nomads. Where are they? Right, where's I can go to their their Discord and find them. Uh, do, do, do YouTube uploads. On oh, metaverse nomads. Sorry, metaverse nomads. You've got lads, lad city. Um, so yeah, lad, lad city, metaverse nomads. I'm literally looking right now. Uh, do, do, do. I don't even know if um Paul 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 Narick is still here. Uh but yeah you've got Oh, the gala games themselves do a bunch of AMAs and like that. So you could do that. A coin bureau makes pretty good content. Um, Alex Becker, if you want to watch Alex Becker. There's some sort of... Oh, Zoologin. It's because you're asking for... Um, it's because you're asking for crypto uh sandbox stuff well i forgot to mention zula zulagin the zulagin um go shiny hunter another great one i've already mentioned Ka kagi uh on chain gaming i've already mentioned i'm literally scrolling through this my list now uh UFO, uh, if you want to know just like shit coins basically and just some random stuff like DeFi stuff, you got a uh, UFO guy, uh, he's pretty cool. Uh, classy, classy crypto gaming, uh, has made a bunch of stuff. I just said go shiny hunter. I think you i think miss crypto does stuff but i can't remember if she is purely just um twitter or elsewhere yeah you've got a bunch of people but in terms of you're great i just like you <laughs> no you're allowed to like other people you're allowed to like other people please don't just use me as your one fountain of learning and just crypto stuff because sometimes I get really busy which is why I haven't released a video for a little while and I hate that I hate that I have I've only been doing the live streams and I really want to get more videos for people it makes me really sad inside the videos I've been making have been privately just for sandbox and I am hoping they have released the latest one it had been asked by um like outside people they wanted something that covered something that basically damn it why i come up before even the sandboxes thing comes up no it hasn't been uploaded that's really annoying i gave them a thumbnail and everything right i'm gonna ask for permission to just upload to their youtube because i hate waiting on people But anyway, before I go for my quick 10 minute break, because my, my drink's low, like I need a new drink, need to pop to the toilet, do that fun stuff. We're going to just talk about the Snoop Dogg Doggies contest thing. So if you own a dog, wow, that went up really loud. I probably deafen people. If you, I don't know why you're doing exclamation. I have no bots installed on this. Sorry, guys um no panda for life that will be my next t-shirt panda for life instead of don't nfts me i need to wear that more for streams i should just save it as my stream t-shirt just don't nfts me 
I'm going to... Oh, I need to pack it. I haven't packed it. I've got most of my clothes, like, ready-ish. I still need to sort out what's going in my hold luggage, what's coming on the carry-on. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've got to do that. I've got, to, I've got to sort that and I need to get the Don't NFT Is Me t-shirt in there. But anyway, Snoop Dogg contest. If you own a doggies, you can partake in this contest. Now, these are not meant to update as quests. It should at least... Why are you not letting me click? Why are you not... I'm going to refresh it. Usually it lets you click it unless the site is still broken. I did see if when my eye was getting pings earlier. There we go. They're coming up. Okay, that's good. Right, they're coming up now. So it should at least say visited if you visited. I thought I had. Okay, I guess I haven't. But I visited that. So it should at least tell you if you visited it. It will not update the quest. The quests aren't live. There's no, like... For the contest quest, you go to the contest page. The dog is event, so that's open until 16th of June, 8 p.m. UTC. Everything done is by UTC. And so you will let this load, I guess. And you can see, and it did used to gray it all out. So it did used to have it all grayed out. But now it will say completed at, and it will give you the date and time that you completed these at. Because this really confused me. I never saw the completed app, saw that it had gone from grayed out to blue. And I was like, why is it not updating? Why is it not graying out? And then, yeah, and then I realized, oh, wait, no, completed app. So it should say completed app for all of these. Okay. Don't worry about that. But also, where's rooftop alarm mode? Why has that one not come up? That's rude. Yeah, and I visited, so it's great. Okay. So, that's what you need to do. So, that ends on Thursday. Thursday, the 16th. You've got two more days until that finishes. We are going to go for a quick break. Going to have a nice little video play. It might play through two times. And I will be back in around about 10 minutes. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Panda Pops Quick Tips. For today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can unlock a template so you can play about with the animation and add to the skeleton. All you need to do is open up your chosen template, save it, then head back to the animator, create new assets, name it whatever you need to name it, and then off of the root over here, we do import hierarchy, find Find that original one you saved and there we go. We've got all the animations open and we can now add child nodes and all of this down on the skeleton. Here is a panda tip for you guys within Vox Edit Animation. Many of you are wondering how you can go about hiding and making things just appear, much like this bit of smoke right here. So we're going to select just this one in particular. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your item hidden inside the main asset. So I've got it hidden in the fireplace. You can't see it, can't see it from underneath, can't hit, see it from the side. And we move our arrow head right up until the point that we want it to appear. We press this and then the very next, the very next frame, we all of a sudden jump it to where we want it to be. Then we do our animation of it going up and it's, it's going up and up until it reaches the top point that we want it to reach and then single keyframe and it's right back down here. Hopefully this has helped you guys understand a little bit of how to make something appear and disappear instantly within Vox Edit Animator. Hope you guys enjoyed Panda Pop's Vox Edit Quick Tips. <laughs>
Y'all ready for the sandbox game? Climbing up the blockchain. We be hitting like it. We be hitting like it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Panda Pops Quick Tips. For today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can unlock a template so you can play about with the animation and add to the skeleton. All you need to do is open up your chosen template, save it, then head back to the animator, create new assets, name it whatever you need to name it, and then off of the root over here, we do import hierarchy, find Find that original one you saved and there we go. We've got all the animations open and we can now add child nodes and all of this down on the skeleton. Here is a panda tip for you guys within Vox Edit Animation. Many of you are wondering how you can go about hiding and making things just appear, much like this bit of smoke right here. So we're going to select just this one in particular. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your item hidden inside the main asset. So I've got it hidden in the fireplace. You can't see it, can't see it from underneath, can't hit, see it from the side. And we move our arrowhead right up until the point that we want it to appear. We press this and then the very next, the very next frame, we all of a sudden jump it to where we want it to be. Then we do our animation of it going up and it's, it's going up and up until it reaches the top point that we want it to reach and then single keyframe and it's right back down here. Hopefully this has helped you guys understand a little bit of how to make something appear and disappear instantly within Vox Edit Animator. Hope you guys enjoyed Panda Pop's Vox Edit Quick Tips. Y'all ready for the sandbox game? Climbing up the blockchain. We be hitting like it. We be hitting like it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Panda Pops Quick Tips. For today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can unlock a template so you can play about with the animation and add to the skeleton. All you need to do is open up your chosen template, save it, then head back to the animator, create new assets, name it whatever you need to name it, and then off of the root over here. Hello guys, welcome back to the panda show. Bloop, 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 bloop. It is pandas time. Uh, anyway, how are we doing? Everybody have a good break. Did you all go to the toilet, do the things that you needed to do? Uh, yeah, we're just, we're just building. Uh, we're going to do some more of this. So we're going to go flower one and have uh, create child. We're going to have stem, stem two, get stem two. Start tilting this slightly this way. Lightly. Uh, what am I building here? I am building a wedding table. So I do need to change the vase type thing a little bit, but as long as I get the main flowery bit fine, I can easily just place a different vase here and potentially just 
because I've got flower on one node with the flowers attached. So if I need to move it, I can move them up and down to make it make it fit nice. So that's what we're doing. So we got we got the main table. So the table is fine. I do want to do some little additions with the tablecloth sloping down and bits like that. I also, because I do want to hide things in this table, including the vase, I will also make that just slightly longer. That's slightly longer. There we go. That should be enough like that. We'll just grab you. Oops. That on everything right there. Just lovely. But yeah, we're building a wedding table for a wedding. Stem three. Grab stem three now. And this is just to give it a little bit more character, a little bit more height and stuff. We do have a slightly darker tip on this one. We need to be careful of the Z fighting. But good ways to avoid the Z fighting is to make it so it laps slightly over. So it's not perfectly in line. Perfectly in line, we can have a little bit of Z fighting, so we do that. Or what we can do is raise it up so it's not really touching properly. That works nicely. Then from the stem, we are going to uh, create child and call this flower two. Grab flower two. Cameras being a bit of a butt, honestly. Cannot wait for the Vox Edit update. They have done a bunch of stuff to stop the camera from being a pain, honestly. <clears throat> Starting to get a little tickle in my throat. A little bit annoying. And if anybody has like a CyberKongs entry, because that's the only Vox Edit contest currently running right now. So if anybody has a CyberKongs entry they want me to look over, pot uh, potentially give some feedback and stuff about, do let me know and I'll give you guys feedback on what you can do. Now, obviously do keep in mind that, why is that frozen again? Obviously, keep in mind that... Oh, cool. It logged me out of restream. Why? Am I still streaming? Please tell me I'm... Am I still streaming right now? You can see me. Cool. Logged me out of restream. Never mind. I'll just stay out. I can see... I can see restream chat. That's probably all that really matters right now anyway. Um, but yeah, keep in mind that if you do make changes to a submission or contest, that we take the most recent dated one. So yes, you can do changes. Now, if you're submitting the exact same asset multiple upon multiple times, then yeah, there'll be a bit of an issue. Um... Like if you send if you send the exact same asset like five to ten times, most likely going to disqualify you for you know submitting that many times. Honestly, I would say like three of the exact same submission is reasonable ish. Um, it depends if I also see changes as well. Let's say you you didn't realize that you submitted. You're like, oh, I can't remember if I click submit. I don't know. And so you submitted a second time and then you realize you wanted to do an update in version and you do that. And then you do another one because you, for an, another reason that you've just totally, it was like, did I click submit or not? So you end up doing four. 
but I can see that there is a change between the first one you did to the second one you did. I'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. Like you made these changes and you've just accidentally sent it twice or both times. That is understandable. It will be tailored to obviously um, like the information I can see. But if you legit send the exact same asset with no, no noticeable changes so many times, I'm like, yeah, okay, let's, let's not. So it will be it will be based on like individual basis of information that we can see from what's been sent. Uh, I was going to do something else. I totally forgot what I was going to do. What was I going to do? Anybody remember what I was going to do? Was I going to have a general chat with you guys? I feel like that's a no. Remember. Very irritating, but my mind is like, nope, you don't get to know what you wanted to do. Hmm. My mind is legit, like, interesting. What what was it that you wanted to do? Oh, gosh, no, no, no. Oh, and I've been signed out of Restream. Cool. One second, guys. I legit can't see anything you're typing because I've just been signed out of Restream. There we go. That's made me a little bit worried for a second. Have I signed out of anything else? Sorry, I just got to check this just to... Maybe it was just Restream being weird. Maybe it was like, no, we're signing you out of Restream. No, I'm signed into everything else. I haven't tweeted anything weird out. It's not like I've been hacked, right? No, everything seems normal. Yeah, everything seems normal. Interesting. Very weird. But at least I've got Restream back up so I can, I can see you guys. There was legit something I was going to do. What was it? What was I going to talk to you guys about? It's bothering me that I don't know. That happened to you guys too. It's almost as if like, you know, if you've ever played The Sims and stuff and you click them to stop doing like an activity that they were about to do, it seems like somebody's just like clicked off of whatever I was about to go do. And now my brain is just having a wild time trying to figure out what it was I wanted to do. Okay, that's too big for the vase. I thought that was going to look real nice. I guess it just needs to be chopped up a little bit.
That should be all right. So we'll just add those colors to this. Right there, we'll add the darker one right here. There we go. Was I gonna sit? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was gonna ask you guys, would you like another Vox Edit quiz? Because I need to make one if that's what you want. Do you guys want another Vox Edit quiz? Or did I just miss that? Uh, Garnica and I did, I did all the Snoop Dogg stuff. I can, I can go over the Snoop Dogg stuff again if you would like. I don't mind. We'll do, we'll do the Snoop Dogg stuff again. I wait for everybody to filter their ears in. We're going to talk about the Snoop Dogg contest. <laughs> hey, so Snoop Dogg contest, and then I'll write up a Vox, L uh, Vox edit uh, challenge uh, form quiz thing. Uh, so. Uh, but also, the person who wins this NFT might have to definitely wait for um, July to get it, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So, Snoop Dogg contest. Keep in mind, for the Snoop Dogg contest that is running until this Thursday, so until 8 p.m. UTC on Thursday, Thursday the 16th of June, um... <clears throat> Uh, 16th of June, 8 p.m. Uh, to do the contest stuff. You need to own a Snoop Dogg Doggies to take part in this contest. And the quests, so where it says Alpha Lobby and it says multiplayer and it says zero out of two quests complete, the quest counter isn't turned on. This isn't how you partake in it. You should at the very least be able to see the visited sign. You should be able to see the visited right there at the very least otherwise to see if you have completed parts in the contest go to contests this has all the contests currently running go to participate for the doggies ones this is only for doggy owners as it says right there and originally these used to get grayed out now they don't it says completed at underneath and gives you the date and time the only one that seems to get grayed out is the tweet one so the tweet is the only one that gets grayed out okay so keep that in mind my gosh don't click links that aren't from me by the way guys don't click links that aren't from me so that's to do with the doggies and that contest ends on the 16th of june there we go open until 16th of june 8 p.m um so visit rooftop ala mode wearing your snoop dog avatar and earn your share of the 250k m sam prize shared reward there we go and the amount is split between people that participate so the more people that participate the smaller share that you get the less people that participate, the more share you get. There we go. The more you know. Oh, no. There is a total of 10k doggies. And we'll just quickly have a look. And... Uh, can I just look up doggies? Snoop Dogg doggies. So there's 10k with 7.3k owners. So there we go. There's 7.3k owners of the 10k. So some people own more than one, obviously. I, I'm one of those people. I own two. So uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, that's that's that. So if only one person shows up, they get all the sand. Technically, yes, but I can assure you that more than one person has participated. Okay, but yes, okay. Technically, if only one person does it, does the contest, then yes, they get the, the share of that and if they are the only one it's that many split between one person so yes they would get it all you guys are gonna have to give me a minute while i write out 
this fun, fun contest for you guys. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me just full screen this so I can find it quicker. Right, let's... Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna switch quickly back over to the VOD so i can so i can just get a few questions up so enjoy the vod for a moment and i will be right back it would i'm keeping a few questions from the previous one because some of you guys weren't great at it so some of the questions are staying from the previous quiz and i am just going to quickly switch over real quick and i will be right back in like two to three minutes Hello everyone and welcome back to another Panda Pops Quick Tips. For today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can unlock a template so you can play about with the animation and add to the skeleton. All you need to do is open up your chosen template, save it, then head back to the animator, create new assets, name it whatever you need to name it, and then off of the root over here, we do import hierarchy, find Find that original one you saved and there we go we've got all the animations open and we can now add child nodes and all of this down on the skeleton here is a panda tip for you guys within vox edit animation many of you are wondering how you can go about hiding and making things just appear much like this bit of smoke right here so we're going to select just this one in particular so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your item hidden inside the main asset. So I've got it hidden in the fireplace. You can't see it, can't see it from underneath, can't hit, see it from the side. And we move our arrow head right up until the point that we want it to appear. We press this and then the very next, the very next frame, we all of a sudden jump it to where we want it to be. Then we do our animation of it going up and it's, it's going up and up until it reaches the top point that we want it to reach and then single keyframe and it's right back down here. Hopefully this has helped you guys understand a little bit of how to make something appear and disappear instantly within Vox Edit Animator. Hope you guys enjoyed Panda Pop's Vox Edit Quick Tips. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I've got that. Um, we're going to be doing the Fox Edit giveaway form in just a second. Accidentally closed that. Right, so there's more questions this time round. It will be done via um, one, whoever gets the most correct. If there are multiple people that have the same amount correct, then we'll do a... Will spin! There we go. So let me grab this form for you guys. And there we go. Wow, the hair transformation. So yes, the hair looks great. It looks absolutely fantastic. But I am capping you a little bit with my hair. Mainly because 
obviously to keep the green screen green screened uh the saturation and stuff has to be turned up so my hair does look good in real life it does it does look good it doesn't look this good it doesn't look this bright and stunning but it does look good um i wish it did look this bright and stunning like those look fantastic but yeah for a crate this is for a crate yes oh mm. If you have won a crate, then you can have a scruffy. But only this one time. Otherwise, it is for a weapon crate. So I'll let everybody take part. This is for this is for a crate. But if you have a crate, this can be for a scruffy. This one time. This one time. And don't, don't tell each other the question, the answers in chat, please. Do not tell each other the answers in chat, please. And then what I really like about this is that then we can go over things and I can sort of teach you this stuff if you don't know it afterwards. And it can be both educational and fun. And I like it. I like educational and fun. Like, we got to keep it lighthearted, but I need to be teaching you guys shiz. There is an error in the how small can the detail be in an asset? In a model. In a model. I will take the closest answer. How, how small can the detail be in the in a model and by a model each one of these is classed as a model this is a model or maybe i should have just said vxm how small can the detail be in a vxm um but these are models there if you go to modeler they're models these are models you enter the modeler they're models okay the vxm are models that's what i mean Okay, absolutely. Oh, am I being raided? Hype, hype, hype. Who's raiding me? Who's raiding me? Who's raiding me? Uh, King of Crypto, are you raiding me? King, are you raiding me? I feel like I did see you alive earlier. Hey, how are you doing? I'm double checking these questions. So the questions are, um, how large are blocks in VoxEdit? What templates can you not unlock? Don't put answers in the chat. Uh, when an asset has more than one static animation, what must you do? Can you have transparent assets? In VoxEdit contest, what's the max faces you can have? To avoid collisions on assets, what must you do? So this is all to do when most of this generally is when you are in VoxEdit. So to avoid collisions, while in Vox Edit, what is the thing that you have to do? Like, so for your asset to avoid collisions in the game, what must you do within Vox Edit? Uh, this, uh, oh no, there is an issue with how small can the detail be? Ah, oh, short, short answer. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Right, hopefully you guys can end, oh. Hopefully that's, that's updated it. I don't know if it updates it straight away. Uh, I'm so sorry. I just realized what it was. How small can the detail be Be in an asset? Yes, you meant... I mean, it's option one, obviously. Yeah, my bad. No, it was meant to be short answer. It's meant to be... You're meant to put a short answer. I'm so sorry. Uh, and then the final one. And I'm going to... I sent it out again. It's updated. It updated. Thank goodness. Only one person put response. I'm guessing that might be 12. Oh, Mr. Pizza Man. Okay. For Mr. Pizza Man, 
I am not going to for the ant because he already submitted and you're only meant to submit once. So, Mr. Pizza Man, if you're listening, I'm not. I'm gonna mark that as correct for you, mainly because that was a huge issue on my end and you can't resubmit it. So you will have a green mark on that one. Um, don't Ice Pilot, you can't. You can't put things in chat. Nobody's meant to tell you. If people tell you, I will mark it as red. I will mark it as red. Right, so for the people stuck on that, I'll give a little hint, okay? To avoid collisions, if you're making a room, how do you avoid the avatar in the game to not collide? with a bounding box with it, okay? How do we avoid having a large collision? I could have probably phrased it slightly better. Um, but only Mr. Pizza Man, only Mr. Pizza Man gets a gr uh, green tick next to that one. Anybody else? Uh, no, because there was only one response that had been submitted at that point before I updated it. Teacher, teacher, here's an apple. Batman TV. Okay, Batman, Batman. I know your whole thing. I hope you saw my thing. By the way, your assets that you're making with the Batman outfit and everything, that's really, really great. But but remember, but remember it, Batman is copyrighted. Just please keep that in mind because I would hate to see anything happen to to you or like you putting a ton of effort. You would need to significantly do alterations that like we can tell it's you, but it's it's not batman um but like yeah just yeah just be just be careful are you saying what i'm thinking am i saying what what king made that king king made it that's awesome but also remember you can't monetize it Even, even if, even if DC came to Sandbox, you would still not be able to create those assets, unfortunately. We, someday, 2034. Well, then, then you will need to hold on to it until that. Winnie the Pooh is fan art. No, it doesn't, doesn't count as, like, it's still, if you're monetizing off of it, if you're making money and if it's in, if it's in the Sandbox, we do not allow anything that is copyrighted. Even fan art stuff, we will not allow copyrighted stuff. Now, let's just say, for instance, DC does decide to join the sandbox and they put out something saying, hey, you can use our stuff to create this. Then that is okay. But until that point, it's not okay. And if you attempted to create an asset and have it up for sale, it would not stay up for sale. It would, uh, rat man, bat without wings, problem solved, do it. Hey, Doji! Doji, it's been ages since I've seen you. How the frig are you? How are you? I feel like loads of people, Doji's here. Delcas was here. Delcas, are you still, tell them to hire you. Tell, tell DC to hire you. That's, I, I don't have contact with DC. I don't, I, I don't have contact with DC to tell them that. Wait, okay, DC. Batman wants to be hired. Does that work? Uh, how am I? I'm great. I am going to NFDNYC. Say what? Say what? Panda's going well. Oh my gosh, we get to meet Panda in real life. Yes, you do if you're going to be at NFDNYC. Oh my God. But Doji, I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? Oh, you already put you good. But like, I'm glad you're good. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting my throat's going now. I need to like chill. You'll see me there. Awesome. Who else is going? Who else is going to NFT NYC? So what? I'm going to put this in one more time for anybody that wishes to win an NFT that uh, can answer these questions. And remember, only fill it out once. And then we'll go through it all. 
Until then, we are creating. So what we're doing is we are creating. Usually I've been doing stuff in regards to my fantasy game I've been creating. I'm a little tapped out of those creative juices. So I'm starting on the wedding assets for the wedding stuff. More <laughs> student. There were two answers I did know nothing about. Could, in all fairness, in all fairness, I may not have phrased things as well as I could have done. This is because I rushed to quickly add a few questions near the end. So I do apologize if it's not explain like worded quite right. Uh, is there a new contest for wedding stuff? No, this is this is for my personal personal game that I am creating. Are you holding a real wedding in sandbox? No, not no, not not quite, not quite. So I haven't convinced him. Um, by the time that we'll probably get married. Uh, where it's most likely Sandbox will allow some form of streaming into the metaverse, um, some sort of streaming thing. Now I can't convince my partner just yet to stream our at least wedding. Um, I haven't been able to convince him. He's like, no. Um, but I have been able to somewhat convince him that, uh, we would be able to use the footage from the videographer to do some sort of stream of the videographer footage, so the video footage of it uh, that has been edited to what he would be happy sharing with basically the world. So kind of a wedding, but not not really. Any chances you can answer the how small question after the contest? Um, I'm gonna I'm going to go honestly. I'm gonna go through all the responses. We're gonna go through all the answers together for the for the quiz. Uh, lot I don't build yet, so probably a fail. <laughs> oh. You A Y Z. You feel like you aced it. That's awesome. Right. Anyway, we need more stuff for this table. I'm gonna just do, uh, potentially, like maybe some plates or something. I feel like maybe I should have a smaller flower arrangement. Like if I get this and do green two, I get green two, I make it slightly bigger. So we go for like a seven. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Oh no, that is the right way. I'm just facing the wrong way. Bloop. Uh, by five and the height also being a five. Flatware, flatware? What the frig is flatware? Do you mean cutlery? Flatware? Is that what you guys call it? It's cutlery. Cutlery. Cutlery and crockery. Flatware? Flatware? Flatware. What is... Oh, yeah, cutlery. Cutlery. Do spoons cut though? Uh, yes. I use I used a spoon today to cut my avocado up. You you yes. I feel flat. I feel like flatware is the American word for it. Not. Not 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 what you not a collector's term. I love it though. You guys are hilarious with your words. Your cute little words that you guys say. You do this to me all the time, by the way. You're like, haha, you said a funny word. That makes no sense. Haha, <laughs> you British. So I'm doing it to you guys. You are being all like, haha, funny British lady saying funny British words. This is so cute. I'm doing it to you now. Ha ha ha. No, we call it silverware. But a fork isn't flat. A fork is like bloop. Like it has a little bloop to it. No, you will not convince me that you are correct because you are not, sir. You are not correct. Uh. 
not convince me. And I also literally just like define. Let's let's look at define cut cutlery. Define cutlery. So knives, forks, and spoons used for eating or serving food. North American cutting utensils, especially knives for cutting foods. See, it's an American thing. In the UK, it it, it generally means like your your flatware, I guess. But but here, cutlery is anything that you use for eating or serving food. Yes. Yeah, we don't have lifts, rubbish bins, car bonnets, or boots. You don't have a car boot. What do you call the back of your car? We don't we don't ring people. We call them. Yeah. Well, no, because we'll say like I'll give you. Well, we'll give you a ring. I'll call you. We do say I'll call you, but we we also we interchange ring and call. Uh, we are a funny bunch in the US. Yes, you are. Twelve, twelve toast. But also we don't like generally it's either rubbish or bins. We don't usually put the two together. We don't go, oh, go put that in the rubbish bin. Most of the time, sometimes we do. Uh, but what do you call the boots? Why am I getting all these awful ones? Block user, block user. Badonka donk. I don't believe that trunk. Oh yeah, you guys call it a trunk, don't you? That's weird. What do you call your car bonnet then? Oh, you call it the hood. You call it the hood. The hood of the car. Yeah. I'm hungry for chips now. Now, do you mean chips or do you mean crisps? Like, which one do you mean? Boot and bonnet equal trunk and hood. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Mr. Pizza Man. Uh, but yeah, Maddox, do you mean do you mean chips? Or crisps, fries. You mean fries? I don't know, man. It's like I don't know. <laughs> don't confuse me. It's stressful. Which one do I want? You want crisps. In fact, do you know what you want? You want some knickknacks. You want knickknacks or skips, okay? They're the two that you want. You either want nice and spicy knickknacks or ribbon saucy knickknacks. They're great. Or you want a packet of skips. Maybe potentially a packet of Monster Munch, because they're pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, they're what you want, 100%. Nick knack Paddy, whack, give a dog a bone, Nick. It's, in all fairness, Ice Pilot spelled Nick knack correct. That is, that is how Nick knack is spelled for the, for the crisps. Maddox, I, I know you're just joking around, but I love it. I'm absolutely okay with it. I love it. It's fantastic. We're having a great time. We just put like two little greenery things. I'm going to make it a little bit prettier than that. Is that the, is this the food ASMR stream? Don't, <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot all about that. Lick the mic, stop, oh, look what you started. Oh, I forgot all about that. Okay, so for anybody, I have never done food ASMR, okay? It was just a joke between me, Doji, and another, another streamer, um, Axe SCB. He hated a, like the idea of ASMR and wasn't keen on like food ASMR stuff and yeah um no it is not a food ASMR stream and I am not licking the mic and I have explained why I won't okay I have done the whole hello I can do that I'm fine with doing that but the reason I won't lick the mic one because it's odd that you're asking but also it doesn't look like it would feel good on my tongue. Honestly, the thought of licking the mic 
just sends shivers up my spine. It's like the whole idea of fingernails on a chalkboard, things like that. I just really don't think the mic is going to actually feel good on my tongue, which is the main reason I'm not licking the mic. What are the ear mics? What? Oh, these. This. No, because it's got a little fluffy thing on the end. It's got the little fluffy thing on this end. That doesn't look like it would feel nice. Like, not at all. And this, this, is, my, this is my big mic, and this has got the same sort of fluffy end that this has. And like when I Googled ear mic, this is what came up. So I feel like they're, they're the same. And it does not seem like something that would feel good. It looks like an ear. Wait, okay, no. When I look up ear mics, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting these. What are you getting? Like that's what I'm getting, ear mic. No, that's def not it. Okay. Uh, Mike, that's an ear. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Mm, no, this. And did I spell ear incorrect? No, no. That would be like, like, mm, no. It's, it's a no for me. Was this, was this, was... Was this developed for ASMR stuff? Like, what? Nice and smooth for your tongue to go down the end. Mm. This is, we're, we're treading into weird, weird territory, I feel. So we've got 17 responses. Is anybody else still filling out the Vox Edit quiz form? It was like $400. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. No, we're good. It's a thing. Yeah, okay. I, I believe it's a thing. I, well, I've seen some weird stuff on the internet. I 100% believe it's a thing. Okay? 100%. No. It's a no. A 3D audio experience where people made it weird. Did they really? Okay. Okay. But yeah, I can see why people made it weird. It's, it's, it's odd. Let's be honest. It's, that that would cross numerous people's minds, like that that idea. Yeah, don't close. Yeah, okay, Crypto Reaper. How far are you from finishing it? Because I want to get it. I want to go through it very soon. We are coming up near the end of the stream ish, a little bit. Uh, can't stand the ASMR stuff. Sorry, Mr. Pizza Man. You must have hated it when I whispered in the mic. That was just for Doji. So who's starting GoFundMe to send Panda an ear mic? No, because I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. I did also state the other reason is because I don't want to do it, but the main reason is because I don't think it would feel good. Why is this coming up? Oh my gosh. Send donations to icepilot.eve. Oh gosh. Don't. Don't. Get me it, please. This has become very weird. Foxes, <laughs> Foxes can be greedy. Crypto Reaper, are you, are you almost, almost there? Are you are you almost done? I'll give you like two more minutes. Two more minutes. You have two minutes remaining. I'm gonna make these look prettier. Right. Go with a uh, fork. So the main issue with this is the main issue with doing knives and forks 
is it's a little bit hard because of the sizing. You know, we could potentially have like a giant, like this would be just two giants. So what I'm thinking, potentially we just do this. This looks like a good, in fact, we could probably go for a two by two right there. Maybe even make it just slightly longer. And then we're going to use single voxels to make the prongs. We're just going to center that right there. Table. On the table, create child node, and we're going to call it cut, cut, Larry. No, I'm not doing it anymore. Okay, I'll still give it. On what my now, I feel like I answered too fast and may have missed them. Right, responses are closed. Let's go through this. Let's go through it together. So once again, uh, I'm going to make it a big screen, so I'm not going to be able to see what you guys are putting in chat for a moment. Just because I don't want to... Uh, right, where's the one? Right, there we go. So I'm just going to Mr. Pizza Man and marking this one green. Anyone else that answered option one? Uh, I changed it. I already updated it. All you needed to do was refresh so you don't get a green next to it because only Mr. Pizza Man had submitted. So... How large are the like the blocks within Vox Edit? So these are the terrain blocks. There are two possible answers. I will accept one meter is one. So one meter within the sandbox is 32 by 32 by 32. Uh, most of you got that correct. Uh, someone did three by three by three pixels. That is incorrect. It is 32 by 32 by 32. So 32 meters, I will also accept three by three by three pixels i don't but anything that mentions 32 by 32 by 32 or 32 voxels or one meter someone even did both most of you got this right once someone put one pixel it is not one pixel for a block there we go great so only two people got that incorrect so far. So what template? I'm just going to go down again. Uh, yes, let's judge everybody together as a team. <laughs> I love this. I'm thinking about building on your land soon. Oh, do it. What What are you thinking about building, Doji? Um, yeah, what sort, of, what sort of game or what sort of thing are you thinking of building? So the next question is what templates can you not unlock so the templates you cannot unlock and okay i should have changed it avatars is a trick question because avatars are no longer in the template section so if we go to templates there are no avatars in the templates section so if you put avatars you are incorrect okay Humans as well is incorrect. You can actually uh, unlock the medium humans. They are fine. Fish is also incorrect. The correct answer is equipment. And can anybody in chat tell everybody else or just tell me why you do not unlock equipment? Why do we not unlock equipment? Can anyone tell us why? Uh, some sort of pvp battles that'll be cool um and especially multiplayer will be coming out soon i believe we do intend there to be a multiplayer coming they will not be equippedable you won't be able to equip it though i'm teaching you guys so much because it's it's unlockable i mean you can unlock it but you shouldn't because it becomes unusable yes any of those answers is correct. Then it won't be equipment anymore. Correct. You guys are learning and I am so proud of you. Your voxel mama is so happy with you guys. Right. Next question is when an asset, I'm going to make this real big so I can read everybody's answers to this. Um, when an asset has more than one static animation, what must you do? 
So add additional start and end keyframes is the correct answer. You do need to make sure that you have a closed keyframe. So by this, I mean, do I have a good example for a static animation? We'll go back to my good old general one, the kitchen table. So this kitchen table has multiple different static animations right here. They don't have any movement. None of these do any movement, but they are all static animations. You need to make sure you have got an opening, which is over here, and a close for each one, even though they are static. That's what you need to do. The same also applies for fully animated assets. You need to make sure they are all fully closed, even if there is no animation happening. So if we go over to Delfina over here, we see there is no movement happening in this area, no movement happening in all of this area, but we do still need to make sure that we move the arrowhead and you press this diamond right here to close all of those keyframes. So let's just go through these and make sure. So control node, no, control node is not the correct answer. The correct answer is anything to do with making sure you have closed the keyframes, have an open and closed keyframe, have an additional keyframe, um, and on the same keyframe, I will also accept close the animation at same point. Yes. Um, most of you got this right. Uh, the thing Panda did on stream, like hide the table. No, it's not like hiding things in the table. Don't know, delete one. No, you don't delete one. Those all keyframes. Yes. Uh, need to have more than one. Combine them. Stop putting combine them. Lack of vision X. You did that last time. Combine them doesn't count. Uh, make sure the end keyframe is on uh, every node at every animation. Add closing keyframe. Make it better is not the right one. Uh, has to have more than two frames. Doesn't have to have more than two frames. It can be one frame. It can be a single frame. Uh, I get what you're saying, but I, uh, okay, let chat decide. Are we letting this person get a pass for, has to have more than two keyframes? Because it doesn't need to have to have more than two keyframes. It can be a single keyframe over here or one, two. So it's, it's, you can move the arrowhead over here. So it's a single frame from here to here is one single frame. So I'm going to let chat decide. I want to mark it as incorrect, but then I also feel bad because not everybody's getting every correct answer. I mean, he got the add keyframe I would pass. Uh, I feel like it's half a point. I'm going to mark you as orange. It's not a pass, but it's not a fail. You're, you're orange. You got, you got one mark out of two. You got half a mark or something. There we go. Right. Can you have transparency? No, you cannot have transparency to an asset. You can have it on the blocks. You can edit blocks to have tra tra transparency, but your actual assets cannot have transparency. There is no transparency. Yeah, I'd say it's not precise enough. Right, next question is, for Vox Edit Contest, what is the max amount of faces the maximum, not the goal, the maximum is 5k. Some people answered 10 and somebody answered 15. So naughty, naughty to you people. It is 5k. It will not change from 5k. It is 5k. It's the maximum for Vox Edit Contest and generally in the Creator Fund and what we, what we ask you to do. Right. This one may have not been worded greatly, but to avoid collisions on assets, what must you do? So the correct answer is you need to break those assets down and so they are separated. To avoid collisions, make sure trim volumes. There we go. We got one answer. I saw it right there. Somebody put it. Uh, trim volume or make separate model that combine in animator. Yes, you need to make sure you trim it. I will accept trimming and I will accept uh, separating. So trimming and separating. Um, so yeah, break assets in parts to rig in a different area. I will accept that. Make sure the hitboxes don't collide. I'm not accepting that. It's not enough, close enough. 
Uh, separate parts. Yes, I will accept separate parts. Have no animation or make sure the box has an outside. Oh, wait, I need to read all of this. Uh, have no animation. I will also potentially accept that. Have no animation or make sure the box has an outside wall on the entire asset. Um, I feel like that's more game makes of stuff. Use the smallest position your asset can have without animation and set as idle. I will also accept that one. Because that, that is right. Don't know when you are going to teach me, teacher. I, I have been teaching you. Shush, shush, shush. Add animation separately. I'm not accepting add animation separately because your asset will need the animation added to it. So you can't really add the animation separately. You can add animated parts separately, but they still need to be animated. Don't animate a room. I will also accept that. Be very careful when animate them because the animation will expand. Add bounding box to the asset. Piece together in separate parts is acceptable. Break apart in smaller pieces. Box separate. Make sure they don't collide. I'm not accepting that. So let's continue. So how small detail can you do is one voxel. The smallest, the smallest detail you can make is one voxel. Somebody did one out of 32. I mean, you can make an asset bigger than 32, but you did put one. So I will accept one, one on there. One, one pixel. It's meant to be voxel, but I get it smaller than one voxel. You can't do smaller than one voxel. See, my ultimate gaming chair has bolts, one voxel in every leg, leg piece. Yes, yes, but in model, that's why I said I should have phrased it differently. So no, one voxel is the smallest. It's the smallest you can create. You can't, you, you can filter things and edit things to be that, but you still can't do a detail in modeler smaller than that. Right, next one is, oh, the final one. Okay. Let's see how many people did, oh, there we go. So many, you got this right, and I'm so happy. If your asset looks fine in Vox Edit, but broken in Game Maker, what one of two things could be wrong? Now, I worded that, and then I still did both two things. So the correct answer is you either didn't close the animation, or you use local transform. Local is up here, so at the, this will be changed. We won't have that. But uh, yeah, moving in local does not translate in Game Maker. Uh, so we only use global space. We don't use local space. So use global transform and named animation wrong is incorrect. You want to be using local. And everybody else got it correct. So well done to literally everybody else other than the two people that got it incorrect. So the two people who need to learn more is Cyrus. Cyrus, you need to learn a little more and um, Meta Gamer, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, also naming, if you don't name your animations correctly, so if you don't do it like Empty 01, Idle 01, Idle 02, Attack 01, uh, Sleep 01, Walk 01, Run 01 and stuff like that, then yeah, the it could not work in Game Maker. But the, the key there was global transform uh, to, to knock you out of not, of, you know, to try and trick you a little bit because global, you want it on global. Let's just have a little look at who, did anybody get all of them right? So I'm going to go big screen right now. I'm going to see if anybody had all correct. <gasps> We, right, we have at least one person that is all correct answers right now. So let's put a green mark next to their name. And what about you? We have, we have two people, so we've got a wheel. We've got a wheel to do as well. 
And what about you? You've got quite a few that seem... Yeah, oh, okay, we have three. Three people so far. Three was how many we had last time. So well done. And I don't think potentially this one. Yes, four, four people. So we're going to go to wheel spin. Woo! And just double checking. But we had a lot of people that did very well. So well done to a lot of people that did, in fact, get the questions right. So let's go to wheel spin. Wheel of names, sorry. Wheel of names. So let's go up here. So the, the wheel of names is Maxi Mac. Then we have travel. Oh, not travel. 12. 12. <laughs> 12 toast. 12 toast. I do believe that you actually made it to top three last time as well. So well done to you. A Y Z as well. 116. And also 9A 7A. Now, for anybody that has, this is the only time I'm going to do this, but for anybody that has already won a weapon crate out of this group, if any of you have already, you will get a scruffy. But otherwise, it is a weapon crate. Uh, Will of Nerds. Oh, Ice Pilot, don't be mad. I think you did. Where's your name? Ice Pilot, you did. Oh, there you are. Okay, Ice Pilot. Let's just see how many. What ones did you get incorrect? The Ice Pilot. Uh, you got the static. <coughs> <coughs> the static animation one incorrect. So now you know that. You got the collision one as well, incorrect. But otherwise you did really well. So Ice Pilot, you actually did fairly well. Go West, you wanted to know which ones you got wrong. Go West, go West. Where are you? Go West, okay. Go West, you got... You got the avoid collision. She put add bounding box to asset. That wasn't quite specific enough because assets have a bounding box. So they already have the bounding box. You need to break down that bounding box. Uh, otherwise, you got everything else correct. Go West. So anyway, let's do the spin. We're only going to have one winner. So it's only one person today. So let's, let's go. Spin. Who's going to be the winner? Who's going to be the winner? Who's going to be the... Oh, oh, oh. 987A. GG to you. Let me get your details so I can put it in my giveaway form. And have you won before 9A78? I feel like, have you? 9A78. No, I don't think you have. And a seven a so you win a weapon crate because I don't think that you've won before. Well, I will just double check with the address that you've given me. Copy. Nope, you have not. So a weapon crate will be sent to you most likely in July. To be honest, it will most likely be in July. Let me just put today's date is the 14th not the 12th go and 987a are you on twitch yes you are most people are on twitch i'm not getting many youtube winners come on youtube pull it out of the park guys But GG's 9A78, that will be a weapon crate coming to you soon. Um, so yeah, well done. Well done, guys. Well done, everybody that took part and all of that jazz. Seriously, thank you. You did fantastic. YouTuber winning on the sandbox stream. My last, my last sandbox stream, a uh, uh, Twitch person won, though. No. 
which reminds me I need to see how much gas fees are to see if I can do any after the stream. Oh, maybe potentially if it stays this low, I'll put out a cheeky, I'll send a cheeky few, but 9078 yours will be going out in most likely July unless I see gas uh, hit around about 20 and can do as long as Facebook doesn't win. We've had a D-Live winner. I was very happy to see a D-Live winner at one point. That made me happy. Right, what time is it? Is it time for me to finish? Whoa, seriously, that actually took... That actually took the whole time. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap up. Does anybody have any questions or anything like that that they wanna ask me? Any information on quizzes and shit like that? Why is that? It seemed like I've got a notification. I don't have notifications. You're lying to me. Hmm. weird uh yeah so does anybody have anything they want to they want to ask do and i will this time i'm not staying to raid anyone but we will we'll see if anybody is doing any sandboxy stuff no it's just it's legit just me it is legit just me right now um i don't see anybody else using using the sandbox thing so go oh wait is he is rock still streaming let's just see if anybody's doing any other crypto things Game Jam have to be like an animal theme thing. I mean, the Pro Game Jam's already closed now, so it's there's not much to say on that. But um, it just needed to be it kind of family friendly, is what I was told. Uh, family friendly slash childlike. So it didn't need to be animal theme. And then there was a, there was a lot of things that were being updated because we wanted to include. Uh, Japanese residents there are a lot of laws in Japan regarding things like earning money from games and stuff like that so we're trying to make it very very accessible for the Japanese players as well um have fun at NFT NYC thanks Doji I really appreciate that so yeah but the Parora one has finished and Andy is going through all of those submissions uh to you know put out the voting forms and stuff is playing big time. I've never played big time. Is it good? Huh. Oh, that looks interesting. Okay. Who is it? Who is it? Coda Gaming. Coda Gaming Live. Okay. So uh, yeah, well we'll go we'll go do that. Can I do it in here? Can I do raid coda? Does it all need to be spelt correctly? Gaming like is in caps live. Does that and um, coda is oh coda sanfam. Okay, so it's not crypto but sanfam. Okay guys, you can go go check out coda gaming live. I don't know if it works in restream. Uh, in which case, let me just quickly open Twitch just in case it doesn't and head over to my channel and do forward slash raid coder gaming. Do I need to be following them to raid them? I think it's fine. Anyway, I, f I feel like it is. I feel like I've heard that being a crypto thing, but I could be wrong. I could be thinking of something different. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be finishing. I will be back on Thursday. I will 100% be doing the tutorial stream in the morning. What do you guys want me to tutorialize you on? Well, what should I teach you? What, what, thing, what thing do you want to learn? Literally tell me something right now. It's not. Okay, it's not. But like literally what do you guys want to learn right now? Like not right now, but for Thursday. It will be a morning stream my time, so it'll be around about 10 a, no, 9 a.m. UTC, so 10 a.m. UK time. Okay. 
Inverse kinematics, you can bugger off, it's broken. We are told on the creator fund not to use it because it doesn't work properly. So we don't use it. I don't do it. I don't use it. I'm not going to do it. So no, because it is, it, it, it's, it's broken and I don't use it. Can mortals create mount points in models? I don't know, maybe. Uh, also, mounts are also a little broken as well, as far as I know. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you next time. I'm just going to put this, just going to put that. Uh, oh, I already have a raid in progress. Perfect, it did it. Right, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I will see you next time. i uh trying to get to the thing that I do. Uh, there we go. So, yes, I will see you next time. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse. I will see you. Bye.